This video is a quick overview of Flux Terraform controller for Windows. Before we delve into what Flux Terraform controller does, let's have a quick look at what is GitOps, what is Flux and what is Terraform. GitOps is an operating model for cloud native applications such as Kubernetes and utilizes a version control system such as Git as single source of truth. GitOps enable continuous delivery through automated deployment, monitoring, and management by the version control system. GitOps is all about declaratively managing the applications and infrastructure. So in a, at a very high level, if you look at this diagram, on the very left-hand side, we have a code repo or version control system in the Git. As soon as the changes are pushed to this code repository, a continuous uh, loop in the CACD picks it up and pushes it to the Kubernetes cluster. Now what is Flux? Flux is a Git-centric package manager for applications. Flux is a set of continuous delivery solutions for Kubernetes. Flux provides GitOps for both applications and infrastructure. You just have to push to the Git and Flux does the rest of the magic. Flux has alerting and notification capabilities. So in summary, if you look at this diagram, there are two pipelines for the developers. They are building their um, container images on their local workstation and then they push it to their Git, which in this diagram is on Azure Repo. From that, uh, the, the pipeline picks those container images and then build the artificate. Uh, artifacts and then push them to the HAM repository uh, or to the Docker container registry or any container registry. For example, in this one, we are using Azure container registry. Once that's done, DevOps team is building the Kubernetes resources, which are using the container images pushed by the developers. So as soon as DevOps team pushes those Kubernetes resource manifests, Flux picks those up and push them to the Kubernetes cluster. So both of these pipelines work hand in hand. Developers are, bu are building the application in form of the container images. And then DevOps team is building the Kubernetes resources like deployments and pods which are using those container images. And Flux CD is continuously monitoring the Git and as soon as any change gets pushed, it validates it and then pushes it to the Kubernetes. This is also called as GitOps. So GitOps is a set of practices, is an operational model, whereas Flux implements that GitOps. Okay, now we have clarified this difference between GitOps and Flux. Let's have a quick look at what is Terraform. Terraform enables you to define your infrastructure as code once that's defined and implemented or applied, Terraform reconciles your current state of infrastructure with a desired state. So for example, just let's take an example of a VM or EC2 instance in AWS. Instead of going into your AWS console and doing few clicks and creating that EC2 instance, you write that specification of EC2 instance in a code format in the Terraform language. And then when you say apply Terraform, Terraform picks that code and creates that EC2 instance. In the future, if you make any change to that code uh, in EC2, like changing the instance type and you apply the Terraform again, Terraform will make sure that your desired state or whatever you have written in, in your code gets applied to your infrastructure or the current state. Okay, so this is what Terraform is. Now let's have a look at what exactly is a Flux Terraform controller. This Flux Terraform controller is from VWorks. It is a controller for Flux to reconcile Terraform resources in the GitOps way. With the power of Flux, together with Terraform, EF controller or Terraform controller allows you to get Opsify infrastructure and application resources in the Kubernetes and Terraform universe at your own pace. What it means is that you don't have to do it all at once. In your whole infrastructure, you can pick and choose and gradually evolve your 
infrastructure to comply with the GitOps way. Flux Terraform controller also enables you to get off your Terraform resources from the provision step to the enforcement step. Like you can apply the whole EKS cluster. So this is called as GitOps automation model. We can also do the hybrid automation model with the GitOps. So with this controller, so Flux Terraform controller also makes you empowered to do the GitOps parts of your existing infrastructure resources. For example, if you have an existing EKS cluster, and EKS is AWS managed Kubernetes. So if you have an existing EKS cluster, you can choose to get off only its node groups or its security groups. You don't have to do the whole cluster. So this is what hybrid automation model. This Flux Terraform controller also gives us state enforcement model. So for instance, you have a TF state file where Terraform maintains its state and you'd like to use GitOps in, to enforce it without changing anything else. So this controller enables you to do exactly that. You can also do the drift detection within the state. For example, if you have deployed something um, as your infrastructure has code to Terraform, but on the current state, someone has manually changed it, you can get drift detect it through this controller. Cool. Okay, now how do we install this Flux Terraform controller on our Kubernetes or on AWS EKS, for example. These are a few of the steps which, can, which you can use, and I will give the link to the whole um, installation repository by Weaverts in the video description. But just let's have a quick look at installation steps. The first step is the bootstrapping. So what we are doing here is we are bootstrapping the EKS cluster with our Flux controller. What this command does is it bootstraps the cluster with Flux version 2. And for this to work, you already should have a running EKS cluster, your GitHub or repository configured. And you should also create this directory on your local cluster or your local workstation. So this command will install Flux on the EKS cluster. And also it will create a Flux system at the path mentioned in this command. As a second step, Create a directory and place that file TF controller YAML in this directory. You can download this TF controller YAML or manifest file from the release location, and the link is given here. Add the manifest file to the Git repo and commit the changes. And last step, push the repository, push this file to the repository. As a final step in this installation, you need to set up the customization file in the same directory. So in the same directory by using the familiar Kubernetes manifest format, create this customization.yaml file. And this file contains simply this code which points to your Terraform controller YAML file, which we downloaded in the second step. So you need to add this customization.yaml file to your Git repository, commit the changes, and then push it again to the repository. Add that, uh, so what it would do is, is set up your customization. And that's pretty much about it. So I hope that you now know something about the Flux, your Terraform, and how this Flux Terraform controller works. I will put the link to this whole installation steps and um, the Git repo from Weaverworks in the video description. Please go have a look. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.